So uh, this is the new shelters that we'll have, like kits that you can order on packcoats.com. Um, but to speak about shelters and, hey, hey, Storm, leave them alone. Come on, knock it off. Um, come here, buddy. Um, by the way, report on Livestock Guardian Dog. Best decision I ever made. He's a barking some bitch, just like you've heard, and also just like you've heard to get used to it. And so, no big thing, but he's just a puppy still, 10 months, um, but has done just a tremendous job. We have coyotes around the property almost every night, and he barks the perimeter, and everybody's safe. So, back to shelters. So this is the shelter kit and what we're trying to do here. And you can see this is made out, of, I think it's either, it's five, five inch uh, we, uh, uh, drill pipe. So this thing's heavy duty. I can push it around with my skidster. I can only pick up at a corner at a time, but it's on sleds and so you can drag it wherever you want with a truck or a tractor. So you just hook up with the chain, drag it around the farm, super handy that way. I just sat there and positioned it and did everything like it is and everything stayed really rigid and awesome. But what I wanted to speak to, so we live in a mountain valley. So the valley comes down this way. So we get thermals both down and up. So down in the morning, up in the evenings or during the day. And so the up drafts, I'm not as concerned about because that's when it's going to be warmer and we rarely get weather out of the east this is west our weather comes out of the west and down this valley so i'm slightly off kiltering it because if i put it facing this direction then they'd get that morning wind coming right up in so i kind of wanted to get the best i could of both worlds now if i were on a flatter property i would just set the back to the prevailing wind and that's what i suggest you do as well and then a big three-shotted shelter will do great in this situation where i have mountain thermals i'm going to set it kind of sideways to that shade shading to the side of caution of when weather comes in and so they can shelter up this thing is i believe 12 yeah it's 12 feet deep and 16 feet wide and then has an eight foot overhang and they will bed out here as well uh, when it rains the only time everybody will go in always is when you know the weather really rolls in and i have in adults I have around 21 I think right now and I'm planning on 21 goats being able to stay in two shelters but then also having a third shelter so that when kidding season comes around I have a doe shelter and everything else we're gonna end up with five of these total on the farm between horses kids babies does and to to supply our operation um, that's what we're doing is five of these buggers so these are super crazy well built. I was shocked how fast it went up. If you come over here, Carson, real quick, you can see how these two by fours come in is that they created a slot and it's just a channel. So all we had to do is we had to nip off the end of these because it's set at 12 feet and it's slightly over with the curve. So we just literally just slaughtered them in, dropped them down. And then we put this just to keep these boards straight as they dry and, and that sort of thing. And then the same on this back end so that all the boards would be held together in the process and this is all pressure treat um, the so the, the wood was super easy and this structure is in four parts so there's this part there's the two bottoms that are independent and we bolt those together you can see we just bolted them together right here and then there's the vertical part that comes with its base and then there's the two roof pieces. So really it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And this barn with never done it before went together with me and another guy in four hours. Uh, and then add another hour for the wood. So we're at five and that's all the purlings we're on already. And then now we're gonna do the roofing, which maybe will take us an hour. It's six sheets, they're 20 feet long. So it's all one piece um, and that'll be the final piece. So. For what we have, which is a legit substantial shelter that also has the weight to hold it down, our last piece will be that we're going to drive in dead men on each corner, which will be T-posts, and then we're going to anchor each corner down uh, with dead men. We don't get super crazy Wyoming winds here, but this is still a sale. We still have to be cognizant of it. The other thing I haven't decided yet until I see how this functions is am I gonna leave this top section open 
for ventilation for you know methane escape and that sort of thing I'm not positive I think I'm gonna put one on the back side to kind of close that out but I don't know until I kind of see how the roof goes in and then we can always rip it we can close all this in I just don't know if I want to yet so that's kind of the shelter thought I'd give you guys the update mark warn keep hope you find that helpful